What's up guys? We are back with two new parts from Auto City Imports. Thank you guys very much. Uh, got this out to us really quick. Um, they are the shifter stop and the shifter bushing from Perrin. Uh, we will be installing these on Super Brutes 2017 WRX. These are retro compatible to the 2015 and 2016 model though too. So definitely check them out on AutoCityImports.com. I'll put the link down and below. So today we are only going to install the shifter stop uh, on the 2017 WRX just so we can see the difference in play and, and feel how the car reacts with the shifter stop. And then the next week we will be installing the shifter bushing. Uh, so today we are going to be installing the shifter stop. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing for you guys right now. So part number is PSP INR 018. Is the manual, some tools, uh, washers and screws, and the actual shifter stop. So it just comes in a packaging like this. It's got a hex key, the screws, I guess that will hold the uh, stop in place, and the actual stop. And this is the actual stop. Very nice material. Not plastic, it's metal. I'm assuming it's aluminum. It's got the nice parent logo on the side. So I'm going to show you guys now why we're going to be installing this thing. So this is what third gear looks like. And you can see there's a little bit of movement, but not a ton. Same thing with fourth. And the point of the shift stop is to fix first gear, which you can see has a lot more movement. The same thing with fifth, and the same applies for second and sixth as well. So first step is to remove the shift knob. And second is to, what you want to do is get your fingers underneath the edging of this silver trim that the uh, leather boot is in, and you just Pry up a little bit and it just pops right out. And then you just pull up and there you go. So what I was pulling up on is if you can see this lip here, you want to wrap your fingers under that lip when you pull up. You don't want to pull on the leather boot itself so that you don't pull it out of the um, plastic trim that's holding everything together. So you just kind of you can see in the corners there's a good amount of material that you can wrap your finger into. So the tools needed for the install is going to be the hex wrench that Perrin supplies to you. In addition to that you're going to need a 7mm open socket and a 10mm open socket as well as the ratchet to ratchet them on and off. Uh, what is also provided to you is the stop, two hex bolts which you're going to use to replace the bolts that hold the stop in place, and two washers which will show you where they go. Alright, so the first step you're going to do is you're going to loosen this nut and this nut. They're both 10 millimeter and you're going to completely remove the screw. But you also want to put it into fifth gear and then you'll notice down here there's a gap between the OEM shift stop and the shifter and you want to make note of that gap. That's what we're going to try and match at the end when we tighten everything back up again. All right, so at this point, I think we have the adjustment correct. So what I'm going to do is snug these down, and then we're just going to 
practice putting it into gear a few times to make sure that there's no issues getting it into every single gear. Okay, so you cannot use a ratchet open socket to remove these little screws here to put the washers in. Uh, point of having the washers is kind of to re reduce the gap between here and here. And uh, yeah, so you can't use it. Use an open-ended socket. So we're going to go do a Lowe's run to pick up a 7 millimeter open wrench. So for all your tool needs, you can always go to Lowe's. So Lowe's, you owe me one. So Lowe's is closed. So Lowe's was closed, so we came to Home Depot, trusty Home Depot, to get our 7mm wrench. Mission accomplished, we got the 7mm, now we're going to go finish the install. <laughs> Low RSX in the parking lot. All right, so we're back in the garage. Got our seven mil wrench. So to finish up this installation, you got to remove those two screws. And as I said before, to replace the, or to remove the gap in between those, you're going to insert the two washers that's been provided by Perrin, and then retighten. And when you install these, you want to make sure that the washer is centered. So you can see the size of the hole inside the nut there, and the size of the hole in the washer. If you're not careful, the washer will sit offset like that, and you want to make sure that it's centered when you tighten everything back up. All right, so once you have your uh, washer in place, make sure it's centered, and then tighten back down, and that should complete your install. Five and six. All right, so we just finished the install of the parent shift stop on the 2017 WRX. Uh, thanks again to Auto City Imports for providing that to us. Uh, definitely check them out at AutoCityImports.com, or you can email Alex, who is their Subaru specialist, at Alex at AutoCityImports.com. Thanks again for watching. Please, uh, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.